Hello everyone, I am Pahel and I Kunj really feel pleased to get an opportunity to present a play in the Kingdom of Fools. This play was originally written by A.K. Ramanujan in his book Folk Tales from India. This is an interesting story about a Kingdom of Fools which is ruled by a foolish king and his minister. I am the king here. I am not a normal king. I am the king of kings. Sure sir, you are the king of kings and I am the great king's minister. I don't want to rule like other king. I want to be different. I want to do something different. Yes, my highness. And even I don't want to order anyone like a normal minister. We are different, so we must do something extraordinary. Yes, you are right. I think you have become smarter in my company. Yes, my lord. You are great. Oh, mention not. I already know that. We won't run the kingdoms like other kings do. We will change day into night and night into day. Yes, sir. We'll order everyone to awake at night and sleep during the day. Yes, and if anyone disobey, we'll be given severe punishment. Yes, my highness, and let's decide that everything goes to single doo doo. By this, everyone can enjoy the benefits of the life. Great minister, you are full of ideas, and anyone disobey will be killed. The king and minister wanted to run their kingdom differently, so they changed day into night and night into day, and everything was available in a doo doo. One day, a guru and his disciple came to the kingdom of fools. They were surprised to see that there was none around and everything was available in a doo-doo. Let's see what happened then. It's a beautiful city. Yes, Guru, but I don't see anyone around it. Why the village is so empty? Let's sit and rest, Guru. One doo-doo, one doo-doo, an apple, one doo-doo, potatoes, tomatoes, one doo-doo, everything in a doo-doo. What is this? Everything around here costs the same, whether a measure of rice or a bunch of bananas. Everything around here costs a doo doo here. Yes, Guru, it's a great place to live here. No, it's not a good idea to live here. Let's go. These fools can do anything next. But Guru, everything is so cheap here. All I want is good cheap food. Just look there. Someone is coming. Let's ask him. Yes, Guru. Brother, we don't see anyone around here. What happened? Where are the people of this kingdom? I think you are new at this place. Yes. Oh, I, actually our kingdom is different from the other kingdoms. We work during the night and sleep during the day. What? Yes. So now it is night time and now we are going to the work. Thank you for your information. Oh, mention not. They are all fools. It won't last very long. You can't tell what they will do to you next. But Guru, I want to stay here. I want to eat banana, ghee, rice, etc. I'll eat whatever I want in just a doo doo. Do what you want. I'm going. Okay, bye, Guruji. Guru left the kingdom, but disciple decided to stay there because of cheap food. The disciple ate whole day and grew fat like a bull. A thief died when he had gone to rob a house. The poor thief's brother went to the king demanding for justice. Let's see what the king decides. Your Highness, I have come here to get justice. Oh, what's the matter? Your problem will definitely be solved. When my brother is pursuing an ancient trade, a wall fell on him and killed him. Oh, your poor brother, where did it happen? He went to merchant house where he did not uh, make a good and uh, strong wall. We must compensate the family for this injustice, my lord, and punish the wrongdoer. Thief's brother blamed merchant for building a weak wall and killing the innocent thief who had gone to pursue his trade. So let's see what the merchant says. Justice will be done. Don't worry. Call the merchant. What is your name? My name is Prachi. Were you at home when the dead man burgled your house? Yes, my lord. The wall was weak and fell on him. What kind of wall was this? It has fallen on a man and murdered him. We have to punish you. No, sir. Please leave me. I didn't put the wall. It it all, did, it all the fault of the man who built it. Who made the wall? My lord, the wall was built in my father's time. I, I knew him. He lived nearby. 
Get that bricklayer. The merchant blamed the bricklayer for making a weak wall. So the king ordered his bailiffs to call the bricklayer. Did you build this wall in his father's time? Yes, my lord. What kind of wall is this? It has fallen on a man and murdered him. We have to punish you by death. Please listen to me before you give your orders. It's true, I have built this wall and it was not good. But that was because of a dancing girl who was going up and down the street all the day and I couldn't keep my eye on the wall that I was building. You must call that dancing girl. Yes, you are right. We must look into it. It's a complicated case. Go and get that dancing girl. Okay, sir. The bricklayer says that he was distracted by a dancing girl, so it's not his fault. So King decided to call that dancing girl. Were you going up and down that street many years ago? Yes, my lord, I remember it very well. Because of you, the bricklayer, bricklayer can't focus on his wall and the wall fell on a poor man. You have killed a man. We have to punish you by death. My lord, wait. I remember why I was walking up and down the street that day. I had asked a goldsmith to make some jewelry for me, but he was lazy and kept giving excuses saying that he will give the jewelry now and then. It's his fault, so it's not my fault. It's the goldsmith's fault. She's absolutely right. Go and get that merchant, goldsmith, wherever he's hiding. Okay, sir. The dancing girl had become old now. She admitted that she moved up and down the street that day, but she was asked by the goldsmith to do so. The dancing girl blamed the goldsmith. So the king ordered his bailiffs to arrest the goldsmith. My lord, I am poor goldsmith. I gave excuses to this dancing girl because a rich merchant had given an order of jewelry. He was impatient and wanted his jewelry to be made first. Name that merchant. He won't be spared. Because of him, an innocent man died. Yes, yes, I know him. He is Prati's father. Call him here. So you all have seen how goldsmith saved himself by blaming the merchant. It wasn't me. It was my father. He is dead. I'm innocent. It's true that your father is the true murderer, but somebody must be punished. You have inherited everything from your criminal father of yours, his riches as well as his sins. When I first saw you, I was sure that you are at the root of this horrible crime. You must die. Bring a new check for execution. What shall we do now? Find a man fat enough to fit the stake. The king ordered a new stake to execute the merchant. But the noose was so loose, so king decided to find a man fat enough to fit the stake. Then they found disciple who was fat enough to fit the stake. So they arrested him and bowed to the king. Bailiffs went to search and found disciple eating banana. So they arrested him. What have I done wrong? I'm innocent. I'm a sannyasi. Yes, you are innocent, but it's royal decree to find a mad pen enough to fit the stake. But Guruji, please help me. I need you. The Guru was a great man who could see everything in vision. When his disciple called him for help, he came to save his disciple. Oh, Guru, please help me. Oh, why just two kings? Who is greater, the guru or the disciple? Of course, the guru. Then put me to the stake first and then my disciple. No, me first. Why do you want to die? Please don't ask me so and put me to the death first. As a wise man, please make me understand. Okay, but promise me that you'll hang me first. I promise. The stake is the stake of God of justice. Whoever dies first, will be reborn as the new king and whoever dies next will be the future minister. 
king did not want to lose his kingdom at any cost so he makes plan to be executed at the stake guru was really smart who played a trick and foolish king and minister were trapped in it let's go to the stake ourselves and we will reborn as king and minister again yes my lord i will postpone this execution till tomorrow we will send the criminals tonight put them on stake okay sir that night king and minister disguised themselves as guru and disciple and got executed the king didn't want to lose his kingdom at any cost he believed whatever the guru said in the morning when the subjects knew the truth We need a king and a minister. You both are very smart. Please be our king and minister. Okay, I'm ready. But we have a condition that will change all laws. Yes, do what you want. From now onward, the day will be day and night will be night. We'll be the king and minister, and you won't get everything for a doodoo. The guru agreed to become a new king on a condition that all old rules will be changed. Day will be day and night will be night and also everything will not cost the same. The guru changed old foolish rules. Now it has became the kingdom of wise people. Thank you to all who liked the play.